Now we are going to edit the settings for our site. Uh, if you remember, I called mine test site. So that's the name right here on the top of the box. Uh, the first the first URL here is our tracking URL. We can copy that and uh, whenever we want whenever I want to track test site, wherever I want to link to it, I'll use this URL. And so I can track it. If I have trouble remembering what S17489 is, which I likely will, I can add a custom URL name in the box below. So for here I'll just type uh, test site uh, because that's what I call the site. Hit save. Now you'll see that my tracking URL has test site at the end of it. Now when I have a, a big list, like I have a, a blog post that I made which has three or four links, and uh, I can't remember, you know, three months now what 17489 is. Why don't I have test site written at the end? So you know, I can remember, oh yeah, that's test site. Save me some time and keep me organized. You can use it if you want. You don't have to put anything in there at all. You can just use it without the custom URL name if you'd like. It doesn't affect the way your page is displayed. It's not going to affect your stats. It's just something for you to use internally to keep track of it. Uh, the automation here below is probably the most useful and important tool of this whole entire site. It's uh, essentially the tracking aspect of it. There's a couple of settings here. You can turn it on or off. You know, sometimes people um, won't want one of the settings or they'll be using a, like if you use a redirect on your page, uh, the click tracking may sometimes not have your page load correctly, in which case you might want to turn it off. However, in most cases it will work on. If you preview your site and it doesn't look right, then uh, let me know. Hit the support button right on top. Get a hold of me. We'll get it figured out to make sure that it will work for you the way it is intended. What the click tracking does is if I'm going to preview my site here and I'm going to click on a link. I'm going to click on, it doesn't matter, just click on the link. Click Quick Tour. Sweet. Okay, well I clicked on the page, so now I have a click. You know, it shows on the click column once I have some stats. Uh, the conversion tracking would be converting if, checking if somebody uh, converted it, they signed up for it. So I signed, I looked at it, you know, I clicked the link, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, I think that I'll, I think I'll, I think I'll sign up and try it out. And that would be uh, conversion. Below that, we have our thank you page. This will count conversions if you're using a, a lead capture page or a squeeze page for your autoresponder. You can put this on as your thank you page or your confirm page or your verification page, whatever they, whichever your autoresponder calls it. They all have, <clears throat> excuse me, they all have different names for it. So just copy that in there. And then whenever that page is viewed, it'll count as a goal. So let's say I, I fill out your squeeze page, you know, and then I just keep surfing along in the traffic exchange. Uh, tomorrow morning I check my email and I see the con the confirmation email in there. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, I, I signed up for that. That's pretty cool though, I want to check it out. So I'll confirm it, and it'll take me to this thank you page. Uh, and then that will track my goal. It'll also have a little thank you ad on there, which we'll talk about at a later time. Uh, the goal code is sort of a broader broader form of the thank you page. If you wanted to make your own thank you page, or let's say you wanted to uh, to put this on on your verification page, just copy that little image. Uh, it's invisible; nobody will be able to see it. But whenever it loads, it'll track a goal. Um, we call it a, a goal generally instead of a conversion because your goal could be anything. Uh, your goal might be to get a sign up, which it most likely is, or your goal might just be specifically to get an upgrade. Uh, maybe your goal is to get somebody to, you know, to click on the on the quick tour on your page. You know, I'll click that little link and take the tour. That'll load your goal your goal code. Uh, maybe you're promoting a blog post and your goal is to get them to want to uh, buy advertising or to comment or anything like that. You could put the goal code image on your on whichever page you want your goal to be, the ultimate end point. Um, basically what we're going to be tracking is, is the funnel. So we'll have your sales page views. 
someone clicks, you know, and someone signs up or buys. We'll see the process and the point they started from, which is the most important thing. Um, we'll talk about that in the uh, the tracking stats video, which should be just below this one. I'll talk about all the graphs and numbers and what all that stuff means there. All right, so scroll down a little bit. If you want to start that video, and uh, we'll see you there.